Hey Aries, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. All right, Aries, this is going to be your love connections reading. So I'll be reading two sides of the energies and you pick your side. All right. Let's see. Aries in love. Oops. There you are. Coming out. The Emperor. All right. One more. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In love, the Knight of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Three of Coins, the Eight of Coins, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Wands, Strength, the Ten of Wands. The Nine of Swords, Temperance, Page of Wands, and the Sun. Beautiful. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. All right. I feel there could have been rejection, um, feelings of dissatisfaction in whatever um, struggle or a relationship that you're trying to work on. It feels like you have done every possible ways and means, including even mind games, you know, to get the thing or to get this relationship going or to get what you want out of this relationship. But coming into this reading, there is this energy of, well, maybe this is some sort of acceptance that no matter how hard you try on your own, Things just doesn't work out in the way you wanted things to. Yeah? And I feel that for you, Aries, you are wanting to set foot on the new ground, new ways of dealing with relationship. For some of you, this could even be you trying to patch things up with the person that you are thinking about wanting to see if you can have a brand new start, wanting to talk. You are open to talk, open to communication, open to being emotionally expressive even. And I feel that you have offered some sort of um, leeway or some sort of uh, gesture towards this person. And so far, overall, this connection, I feel that you both could feel that you are sort of starting um, building a new foundation together. Yeah? It seems like you're, you're starting to build a foundation once again, especially if this is a reconnection. Although the overall energy is the Five of Swords, that means that overall, whatever, whatever is happening, however you deal with one another right now, there is that sense of defeat, of um, dissatisfaction. Like I said, there could have been a very soft sense of rejection here. The person that you are dealing with, um, you could see that this person somehow is willing to work things out with you. You could see that um, they have put back or they have, um, they have their focus back into this uh, relationship or situationship that you're in. Plus, on top of that, you're dealing with someone who is very loving, very compassionate, and um, somebody too who is not really afraid to open up emotionally. Mm -hmm. And maybe that made you a little bit easier for you to... to reconnect that's what i feel um in addition to that 
for this person, even if they are reconnecting with you, this is also someone who is um, learning more how to focus on themselves, how to love themselves, how to do self-loving, especially if this is a reconnection. Perhaps this person has really been very hurt in the past. And therefore, with this reconnection, they may show you that they are interested to work things out to see where this goes in a good, solid manner with good foundation, so long as there is that good foundation. But at the same time, this is someone too who recognizes that they can only give so much into a relationship before they can be hurt again. And you could see that even though this person is very loving, compassionate, a type of person, they would show you that part of them, but you will not be seeing the entirety of it unless you are also willing to give in that full investment into this relationship once again. And that makes the reconnection a little bit challenging because once you start to reconnect, you tend to adjust to each other's moods, yeah? And somehow, somebody may be expecting that the other party would be more giving this time, would be more, you know, there are levels of expectations that are set. And if that is not met, the other party would tend to close out because they are afraid that the history would repeat itself. If you were not investing as much before and they got hurt, now if you are just easing into the reconnection and they feel like it's not full, um, you're not fully invested, your interest is not high enough yeah, to get into this situation, your person would tend to close out. Yeah, I do see that there could be, um, there are a lot of things here, Aries, that you want to, um, to fight for. And basically, it is about continuing this connection with someone, provided whatever um, expectations you've had before need to be talked about clearly, right? And um, need it, it, you want that the other party would hear you out and vice versa so that you can talk things out and continue to fight for what you both believe in. But somehow, if you both are starting on different sides, you are not on the same page, it needs a lot of effort to get to that level of um, understanding yeah and i do see for this connection at least in in the next uh, one or two weeks i do see that there would be some sense of holding back on what you wanted to express even though you feel a lot inside or you have some wishes and dreams about the situation you may tend to hold it back You may tend to hold that back for now because you don't want to put all your cards on the table without um, really understanding um, the other person's point of view. But that's really difficult, especially in reconnection. You need to be able to talk and be understood. Yeah? And the other party needs to be able to listen as well and understand. And actually, it's more about really hearing what the other person needs to do, what, what the other person is telling you, because that's the truth in that sense, especially after that Five of Swords situation. Whatever, whoever is feeling defeated here in the situation is most likely the one telling their true feelings. And if you're on the other end of that communication, you got to hear this person out. Whatever they are saying, believe it. And it will be easier for you to, to focus on your own interest, to focus on what's good for you. Because I do see that um, your person too may have reached this point of um, almost giving up, especially if you have history back then. There is this sense that maybe this person is, is really, has done a, re a really good sense of healing when you were separated because now if things are not really working out in this reconnection i feel that your person would tend to 
recollect or would tend to learn from the past cycle. And they would likely say that, well, if Aries did this before, they would likely hurt it, me again. It's like history. Somebody here is afraid for history to repeat itself. And it's, it's a tough job for you because you still feel something. You want to start something new here with this person. But it's just that... Um, It feels like you are not getting what you are wishing for because there's too much history in the situation. That's what I feel. Likely outcome, I do see that there will be a lot of thinking, overthinking, anxiety, anxiousness, and, and um, you know, being afraid that perhaps... If you feel right now that things are not going to be working, you would continue to feel the same way. Yeah. So I feel the advice here is to have try to get yourself some good sleep. Don't forget to take care of yourself too. Um, ultimately, that anxiety, if you know how to calibrate yourself, um, you will get you will get into that level of understanding as well and patience patience being patient with yourself that yes if this is truly what you want and it is not really working out then so be it for now that's what i feel and perhaps you would even try to um try to achieve more inner peace this time it's more of acceptance strongly i am getting here you will both try to make this work but there is that um not really milestone but there is that point when you both would realize that maybe this is this is where it should be for now this is where it should end for now yeah now one thing also that i am getting is that you will be receiving some form of messages so for those of you who are opening yourself up to new dating um opportunities I feel that you will be starting to see or to meet a new person who could give you this fun, uh, loving vibe, light and easy to start something fresh. Yeah. So there is that. There is this new um, energy I feel towards you. And um, it could definitely make your summer more enticing. You have the sun at the end of, of the reading. So whatever this is, if it doesn't work out with this person, you will definitely undergo some form of anxiety, difficulties, sleepless nights and all. But know that at the end of it, a message, most awaited message would come in and um, it can give you that beautiful and better outcome than where you are at right now. For some of you, this could even be a message from the person that you're waiting for. Maybe from this person. But you know what? I would rather read this as, as um, a new energy towards you. A new energy that is matching your energy. If you're fiery, you need someone like that too to make a you know, happy spring and happy summer vibe kind of thing. Okay? I'm going to leave it at that, Aries, and I hope this gives you insights. Let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye, Aries.